I had originally had a bunch of chemistry, physics, and complicated math written for this, but near the end of writing the script, I stumbled upon this extremely helpful table from balloons.com. This chart details the different dimensions of common balloons, as well as, and this is the most important bit, the amount of lift capability they're able to generate with a full load of helium. I would have saved so much time if I'd found this earlier. Now onto the baby. According to the University of Michigan, the average newborn baby weighs between 2.5 and 4.5 kilograms. That's between 5.5 and 10 pounds for my American viewers. The different factors that go into the size of newborns include their sex, size of parents, and how many biological older siblings they've got. So let's assume that our hypothetical floating baby weighs in the middle of that weight range at 3.5 kilograms. Let's divide our 3,500 gram baby to ounces by dividing it by the 28.35 grams per ounce. We'll see that the baby weighs, huh, 123.4567 ounces. Math is weird sometimes, huh? Anyway, if we look at the massive time-saving chart from balloons.com, we can see that the standard balloon can lift about 0.35 ounces, or 10 grams. Dividing the 123.4567 by the 0.35 ounces the standard balloon can lift, we see that it takes about 353 balloons to lift a newborn baby, or in the case of a six-month-old baby, where the average weight is 269 grams, it would take about 769. Once the baby reaches its first year, it will weigh an average of 327 ounces, at which point it will take about 935 balloons. I say about because there are a lot of other factors that will impact this. In all likelihood, it will require more than the previously stated number of balloons. Here's why. There's a depreciating marginal loss of effectiveness the more balloons you're required to tie around something. This means that we can't just use this simple equation to see how many balloons it would take to lift a very large object. A couple of balloons for a baby is fine-ish, but for heavier objects like say adults or entire houses, then the math becomes a lot dirtier. For one, the more balloons you add, the more strings will need to be used to tie up those balloons to the lifted object. The weight of all of those strings will really start piling up. I didn't calculate the weight of the strings here because it would require too many variables that aren't super relevant to the prompt at hand. Like for example, the length of the string or the string's material. Another factor to consider is that these balloons aren't uniform. Each balloon will be slightly different from the others blown up before it, which will impact the amount of lifting force that specific balloon can provide. To add to this, the handy dandy balloon chart from balloons.com even comes with a small disclaimer at the bottom stating that the actual lifting capabilities may differ by as much as 10%, depending on factors like altitude and temperature and the individual's balloon pumping aptitude. And my personal favorite problem you'd also be running into the issue of time. It takes a lot of time to blow up the number of balloons needed to lift a human adult. So much time that by the time you finish blowing up the last balloon, the balloons you've pumped earlier would have leaked too much helium out to provide any real lifting force. So unless you've got a large team ready to simultaneously blow up thousands of balloons at once. All of this is to say that iconic scene from the Disney Pixar film Up, it's sadly not actually feasible. 